Cannabis Media. Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to News Dabs 2020. I'm Jimmy Young, the founder of Pro Cannabis Media. And moving forward, every week I'm going to pick one story a week to comment on or rant about. It'll be shorter and probably more interesting for you all. But for me, there were a few big stories in the emerging cannabis world in 2019. The first is that vaping crisis that exposed the dangers of an unregulated illicit market. And the second is the passing of the Safe Banking Act in the House of Representatives in Washington, D.C. But for me, being the ex-sports guy that I am, I think the biggest story was the announcement that Major League Baseball has removed cannabis from its list of banned substances. And now we'll treat weed like alcohol. This marks the first professional sports league in the U.S. to change its policy towards cannabis by taking it off the list of banned substances to be tested. That is, in addition to the World Health Organization now calling for the descheduling of cannabis and the World Anti-Doping Agency's announcement that it has taken CBD off its list of banned substances. Now we go back to baseball, the All-American Game. Now MLB is not advocating more usage of cannabis, just telling its players to act and use it responsibly and you won't get fined or suspended. However, if you do develop a dependency, you go into treatment. Wow, what a novel approach to treating grown men with respect for their habits. Now, please, don't tell me that cannabis hasn't been consumed by Major League Baseball players over the years. After all, this is the same league that looked the other way when steroids and androstenediol was so rampant, they actually named an entire time frame as the steroid era. In fact, you could make a case that steroids and drugs saved baseball from extinction by creating a performance-enhanced home run battle between Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire, and Sammy Sosa in the mid-1990s. MLB didn't care what their performers put in their bodies as long as it put fannies in the seats and eyeballs watching the games on TV. A level playing field? Not so much. But hey, everybody was taking something back then, right? Now, this is the same league that also looked the other way when amphetamines, called greenies, were available in many locker rooms just to give the players a little boost during a long 162-game season. Baseball players on drugs? Shocking! Now, not so much. Now, at least MLB will go down in history as being the first professional sports league to take cannabis off its banned list. As we look at the historic end to cannabis prohibition in this country, this move will have its significance measured alongside the signing of the Farm Bill in December 2018 as key factors in removing the stigma and its classification as a Schedule One drug, a plant with no medicinal value. Now that's a home run. I'm Jimmy Young for Pro Cannabis Media, and this has been News Dabs 2020. We are Pro Cannabis Media. News Dabs is a weekly production of the Pro Cannabis Media Group. It is supported by Alternative Compassion Services in Bridgewater, Massachusetts. ACS is a leading provider of medicinal cannabis at 693 Elm Street in Bridgewater.